constable. That's what we're talking about here. The basis of all diplomatic relations is not who you are, but who the other side thinks you are. Now, I've worked very hard creating an image of Canadians we can all be proud of. Yes, sir. You, on the other hand, have been doing everything in your power to wreak havoc on that image. Sir? All this do-gooding constable, picking up litter, rescuing kittens, saving people's lives, what sort of message do you suppose that sends to the Americans? Uh, that we care, sir? Exactly. And people don't fear people who care. I'm sorry, sir. I wasn't aware that we wanted the Americans to fear us. That's what every country wants, Fraser. No one takes you seriously if they think they can push you around. Do you think I would have risen this high if people weren't afraid of me? When can it be ready? Wednesday. Nonsense. I need it this afternoon. I'll have to take them with me. Well, then get on with it, man. Get on with it. There. Did you see that, Fraser? That's another American tailor that fears me. I could see that, sir. And that's what Canada needs. To be feared by tailors? Along with every other American. Do we have a plan to accomplish this, sir? Yes, but I'm not at liberty to reveal it at this moment. The important thing is that you not undermine our efforts with all this nice guy stuff. Yes, sir. As to my assignment? Assignment? Yes. I need you to hand deliver a very important document. Now, I don't want to say that the relationship between our two countries rests on its safe arrival. But if something were to go wrong, I can't speak as to the consequences. It looks like a party invitation, sir. Clever, no? Just make sure that someone gives you a, um... Get, get a... Signature. A signature, yes. And get the balloons on the way home. We're counting on you doing your part to make sure our reception is a success. You know your duties? Doorman, sir. Is that what you do? Yes, sir. Well, keep up the good work. Carry on. Oh, and Constable. Godspeed. Thank you, sir. Oh. I have to go out for a while, Deacon Baker, on a very important assignment, so what I would suggest is that you just... Stephen Baker. Oh, please, don't do this to me now. Dave. There is nothing more frustrating than playing hide-and-seek with a deaf wolf. Jasmine, have you seen Stephen Baker? No, Fraser, I haven't. Ah, well, if you do, could you tell him that I had to go out for a while? Sure thing. Can I give you a hand across the road, ma'am? Well, aren't you the kind young man? Where are you from? Well, ma'am, I'm from... I'd rather not say. Je m'appelle Catherine. Comment allez-vous? Could you tell me how to get to the nearest post office? Two blocks up on your right. Je vais bien, I'm sorry. You'll have to speak up. I'm trying to learn French, and it's difficult to do two things at once, especially if they're in two different languages. Two blocks Oh, thanks anyway. I'll find it myself. Oh, damn. Fermez la porte, Jacques. Merci. Fermez la porte, Jacques. Merci. Comment Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh! In God's name, do you think you're doing? Right in broad daylight. I don't know where you get the idea that you can just do whatever you please. Well, you've just tackled the wrong woman, mister. Well, actually, I think you misunderstand. I misunderstand? Oh, that's very nice. That's very nice of you to accuse me of not understanding. I'm too rash, too emotional, incapable of reason, huh? Well, no, I didn't Let mean me that. What I meant was... When I want something, I ask. When someone says something, I listen. I don't grab people and throw them to the ground when they're trying to learn French. And if I do... Well, I at least apologize. Well, I, I, I'm terribly sorry, but you misunderstand. You see, you were about to be hit by a truck. Oh. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? After all, I'm not a mind reader. Oh, oh dear. Um...
Excuse me, did you happen to see a young lady with a, a bright blue jacket and a floral skirt carrying a post office? Thank you. Thank you kindly. Oh, that's very kind of you. Excuse me, you don't mind if I cut in, do you? I'm getting married tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Uh, excuse me. Oh, hello. This is that man I was telling you about. Hello. Would you mind if I went in front of you? You see, I'm getting married tomorrow no and I'm running very late. Oh, no thank you. <clears throat> I'm afraid that you have my letter. Your letter? Oh, no. These are my letters. Don't you remember? They fell when you tackled me. Uh, no, you see, I had a letter also, only my letter didn't have a stamp on it. Oh, well, then you're in the wrong line. You buy stamps over there. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> uh, no, actually, you, you don't understand. Or rather, let me think of another way of saying that. Excuse you... me. Yeah, sure. Uh, you see. Hey, 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 wait your turn, buddy. You know, I really don't think you should be cutting in front of all these nice people. They were generous enough to let me pass, but I'm afraid you're upsetting them. Oh, here, I'll mail it for you. Well, that's very kind of you, but actually, I need my letter back. But you just gave it to me. Just a second, this is my letter. Well, yes, it is. What were you doing with my letter? Oh, you're following me, aren't you? Exactly. Oh, well, that's very flattering, but I have to tell you that I'm already spoken for, and I'm afraid my fiancé is very jealous, so I think it's really best that we don't see each other again. I appreciate this, Ray. Let me get the door for you. Look, he's a Mountie, okay? Mounties do not lie. If he says it's his letter, it's his letter. I don't care if you search Preston, he's not getting the letter. Ray, perhaps. Benny, let me handle this, all right? Let me see your driver's license, hey. pal. I look like I'm driving. Look. Once a letter is deposited, it becomes government. Are you property. looking for a letter from the Canadian consulate? Yes. Oh, no, I, I wouldn't want you to get in any trouble. I get off at four. Well, then I won't keep you. You must have a lot to do. Thank you kindly. So many times do I have to tell you? It can't be done. Yeah, well, if I find your mail truck parked in front of a hydrant, don't expect me to cut you any slack. There's absolutely no way to get that letter back. It's all right, Ray. How did you do that? Did I mention it was my day off? Several times. The consulate line is still busy. I thought I did, but then I became confused when I found myself driving around delivering mail. Well, this isn't just mail, Ray. This is a highly sensitive Canadian government document. Oh, you guys planning an invasion? Well, I'm not entirely sure. I think I may have said too much already. Yeah, well, don't do it today, all right? Because I'm going to be sitting on my couch enjoying the basketball game and tip-offs in exactly five minutes. 746 West Lakeside Place. That wouldn't be on your way home, would it? No. I'll just be a minute. All right, I'm counting down, Frazier. One, two, three, four. Technically, that's counting up. Right? Get the hell out of here. Nine, ten. Easy place. Third delivery today. I don't understand what the problem is. What are you doing here? I am as surprised as you are, ma'am. Deliver for Alice? Where do you want it? Oh, anywhere. Please, you have to go away. No, of course not you. You are away. Do men understand nothing? Uh, allow me to explain. I, I have a letter. Oh, the one you accused me of taking? Yes. You see, you had it all along. Well, let's just say you apologized and leave it at that, shall no, we? No, no. You see, I have to deliver it into the hands. You want to give it to me? <laughs> oh, no. We've been through that already. I'm not going to take it a second time. Yes, I'm still here. Listen, we both know why you're doing this. And if I was available, I might be intrigued, but I'm not, so you'll just have to leave. I honestly didn't know that this was your address. Don't be ridiculous. It's written right there on the envelope. Ma'am, all I want to do is deliver this letter and... All right, I'll take your letter, but no matter how well it's written, I'm not going to change my mind. I'm getting married tomorrow. Yes, I know you know that. All right, I'll be there at 2. Oh, but just give me your number in case I get lost. 555-0866. 555-0866, Do you have a pen? Yes, and if you could just sign... Oh, right damn, what was the number? 555-0866. How do you know the number of my bridal shop? Well, I didn't know it was the number of your bridal shop. Oh, so you just pulled that number right out of the air. Okay, here. Now, is there anything else? Uh, no, and I assure you, ma'am, that Who's you will... Who's down there? 
Oh, no. Now you've done it. If my fiancé finds you here, he'll never understand. He's very jealous. Well, there's absolutely no reason for it. Well, him. then you're a lot more broad-minded than he is. Bye-bye now. Have you seen our wedding license application, dear? I thought I'd put it... Oh, here it is. Who was that? Oh, no one, dear. A Mountie. He means nothing to me. And what's that supposed to mean, he means nothing to you? Did you see an envelope with a phone number written on it? It was right here. Just a second. What, what, did, what did he want? You really have nothing to worry about. He's a total stranger. If I hadn't been lying on top of him, I hardly would have recognized you, you, the man. You were lying on top well, of him? Well, what is the number of my bridal shop? Five 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 zero eight six six. Oh yes, thank you, sweetheart. Wait a minute, but forget about that. What's this oh, lying on no. top of who? Don't get all worked up. He was just being a gentleman. That, that. If he had landed on top, he would have crushed me. You saw how big he was. Hundred and twenty-two. Four hundred and twenty-three. <sighs> I'm sorry it took so long, Ray, but Miss Burns is not the easiest person. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh. Must be your fiance. Poor man. Just get out of here. All right, no more, Mr. Nice Man. <clears throat> now see, there you go again, jumping to conclusions. What? You really have to work on controlling your temper. Come on, a guy picks you up in the street. I have a right to know who he is. Is that asking too much? Here, if I knew his name, I would tell you. You don't even know his name. Well, I really didn't think it would be appropriate to ask. After all, I hardly know him. And I did have a few other things on my mind. I, just wanna... I mean, we are getting married tomorrow. I just want to know what happened, okay? What happened? Nothing, dear. But if it'll make you happy, I promise I will never see the man again. Ah, Miss Burns, uh, I just realized I made a mistake in delivering that letter to you. So now the guy's sending you letters? Uh, no, if I could Don't explain... Don't you lie to me. You just said you gave it to her. I'm sure it's just an innocent infatuation, dear. Isn't that true? No. What? Really? How long has this been going on? Well, just since this morning. If you don't believe that, I really don't know what else to say. Oh, there's my cab. Will you please explain it to him? Well, I would like to explain it to someone. Thank you. You see, sir, all I'm attempting to do is deliver a letter to you. And give me the letter. Oh, dear. Uh, she took it with her, didn't she? This really is not going particularly well. If you'll excuse me, sir, I have to pursue your fiancé, otherwise I might not be able to catch her. And I thank you kindly for your patience. Uh, Ma'am. Uh, 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 oh. We have to follow her. Who? She's in that cab. We can still catch her. What was that all about? Follow her. Oh, come on, Nigel, not again. If there's nothing going on, she's got nothing to worry about, right? Just follow her. Excuse me, sir. If there's nothing else, I'll be leaving, sir. All right there, Mrs. McGuffin. Thank you. She's just up ahead. Frazier, why are we following this woman? You delivered the right envelope to the wrong person at the right address. In my book, two out of three is pretty damn good. The consulate line is still busy. The Marco drives on. Did you see that? No, 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 I didn't see it. Why? Because I'm not at home. That's why. Here, give me that form. I'll sign it. What's his name? N.J. Ellis, but I don't think that would be acceptable. Nigel J. Ellis? You know him? Yeah, Ellis Disposal. The guy's dirtier than the garbage he hauls. Toxic spills, illegal dumping. We've tried to nail him, but he's got so many politicians in his pocket, he walks with a limp. I can't believe that's the guy you're delivering the invasion plans to. I can't believe it's the same person. Oh, there, there, there she is. I promise you, I won't be more than a minute. I'm not sure I can even describe it. Commentator, you're a commentator! I told you, I have to pick up the license now. The wedding is tomorrow. And I told you, I can't issue it unless both parties are present. Well, if you don't issue it, we can't get married. And since we're getting married tomorrow, you really have very little choice in the matter. I don't know why you can't see that. You see where it says, bride and groom must appear in person. If you keep repeating yourself, we're not going to get anywhere. Excuse me, but... I'm... Oh, God. Don't tell me. You want your letter back. Well, if you would just look in your purse, I think you wrote a phone number on it. This, your fiancé? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Does he look like my fiancé? Then I'll have to ask you to step aside so I can help these other people. Okay, fine. If you don't want him, I'll take him. Honey! Well, what kind of 
You see what you did? Well, I'm sorry, but I failed to understand how my not being your fiancé prevented you from getting your license. Oh, that's ridiculous. If you were my fiancé, I'd have the license right now, wouldn't I? And they say men are the logical ones. All right, you'll just have to do it. Oh, I'm sorry, do what? The office closes in 15 minutes. Nigel can't get down here in that time. You just have to tell him that you're my fiancé. No, I couldn't do that. You want your letter back? Well, yes, but I'm not about to lie to a public official. All right, then don't say anything. I'll do the talking. Excuse me. I found my fiancé. You just told me he wasn't your fiancé. I was mistaken. I didn't recognize him. What's your name? He can't hear you. He's mute. I believe you mean deaf. Oh, yes. Thank you, sweetheart. You're marrying a deaf, mute Mountie, and you didn't recognize him? Perhaps I can explain. If he's deaf, mute, why is he talking? Now you're criticizing the handicapped? Well, I think your superior would be very interested to know that you refuse to give marriage certificates to the physically challenged. God knows their lives are difficult enough without insensitive bureaucrats like yourself preventing them from getting married. And if that's not enough... All right, all right, all right. Just take the damn thing. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Thank you kindly. Ah, excuse me, ma'am. You, you forgot to... Great. I wonder if you'd mind... Yes. Go home, Ray. No, no, I'm having the time of my life. I should be just a minute. Oh no, I probably won't. You, you better go home. No, oh, Ray, Ray. If you could drop by the consulate and just explain to them, I'll be a little bit late. Thank you kindly, Ray. Yeah. Nigel, it's me. Yeah, she's alone. She's here and she's alone. Now, can I get out of here? I'm telling you, it's a waste of... Yeah, fine. I'll stick around. Yeah. saying anything about a hoop. Oh, yes, I remember it was on the twelfth fitting. You said put a hoop in it. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Why would I say such a thing? Well, perhaps because you wanted a hoop. You see, I wrote hoop here. Well, then maybe you wanted a hoop. It's your writing. How could it be what I wanted when I don't want it? That doesn't make any sense now, does it? Which is why I didn't put a hoop in it. Oh, how clever of you. Should I try it on? Why not? May I help you? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm looking for a woman. A uh, particular woman. Her name is Miss Burns. Would you happen to know if she's here? I haven't any idea. I don't work here. Then how could you possibly help me? Are you Miss Burns' fiancé? No. You must be very pleased. She's in the fitting room. Thank you. Uh, Miss Burns, it's Constable Fraser. You know, there's a very thin line between persistence and obsession. Well, I, I'm afraid that you forgot to give me the letter. Oh, no. That man works for my fiancé. Uh, which man? Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Uh, Miss Burns, it's me, Perry. Which Perry is that? Uh, Perry, Perry, ma'am. Oh, Perry! What a pleasant surprise! What are you doing here? I'm following you, ma'am. Oh, this is great. All he has to do is find you in here. Well, then I'll just explain. You met him. Nigel. You think you'll be able to explain this to him? Who are you talking to, ma'am? Oh, you, Perry. There doesn't seem to be any other way out of it. Get under my dress. What? Get under my dress. You want me to get underneath your wedding dress? Yes. Isn't that bad luck? Will you hurry up? Oh, no, I'm quite sure most folk are If Nigel that... finds you in here, he'll kill us both. Right. <sighs> I don't want to have to come in there, ma'am. But I promised your fiancé that... Oh, hello, Perry. How are you? Fine, Miss Burns. 
It looks lovely. I just want to see how it moves. Sorry. Shh. Miss Burns, you'll have to steer. I have my eyes closed. Shh. Nigel, I got some bad news. Is he following us? Oh, I can't see anything. Your fiancé, he wouldn't be, uh... Nigel Ellis of Ellis Sanitation, would he? You know him? No, only by reputation. Oh, he's usually a very sweet man. It's just that when he gets jealous, there's no reasoning with him. Well, you know what the Swiss are like. Consulate, Consulate to Canada. Bonjour, please hold. Attendez, s'il vous plaît. Excuse me, I... Canadian Consulate, Consulate to Canada. Good afternoon, bonjour, please hold. Attendez, s'il vous plaît. Hi, I'd like to... Canadian Consulate, Consulate to Canada. Good afternoon, bonjour, please hold. Attendez, s'il vous plaît. Thank you for holding. Merci pour attendez. I'm sorry, I don't speak French. Je ne parle pas français. Dear Canadians, Constable Fraser. Two blocks up on your right. Say again, Evu. I'm sorry. You'll have to speak up. I'm trying to learn French, and it's difficult to do two things at once, especially if they're in two different languages. Two blocks. Oh, up thanks. On your anyway, right. I'll find it myself. Oh, damn. Fermez la porte, Jacques. Merci. Fermez la porte, Jacques. Merci. Oh, I beg your pardon. I... Oh! In God's name, do you think you're doing? Right in broad daylight. I don't know where you get the idea that you can just do whatever you please. Well, you've just tackled the wrong woman, mister. Well, actually, I think you misunderstand. I misunderstand? Oh, that's very nice. That's very nice of you to accuse me of not understanding. I'm too rash, too emotional, incapable of reason, huh? Well, no, I didn't Let mean me that, but I meant... Something. When I want something, I ask. When someone says something, I listen. I don't grab people and throw them to the ground when they're trying to learn French. And if I do... Well, I at least apologize. Well, I, I, I'm terribly sorry, but you misunderstand. You see, you were about to be hit by a truck. Oh. Well, why didn't you just say that in the first place? After all, I'm not a mind reader. Oh, oh dear. Um... about here. The basis of all diplomatic relations is not who you are, but who the other side thinks you are. Now, I've worked very hard creating an image of Canadians we can all be proud of. Yes, sir. 
You, on the other hand, have been doing everything in your power to wreak havoc on that image. Sir? All this do-gooding constable, picking up litter, rescuing kittens, saving people's lives, what sort of message do you suppose that sends to the Americans? Uh, that we care, sir? Exactly. And people don't fear people who care. I'm sorry, sir. I wasn't aware that we wanted the Americans to fear us. That's what every country wants, Fraser. No one takes you seriously if they think they can push you around. Do you think I would have risen this high if people weren't afraid of me? When can it be ready? Wednesday. Nonsense. I need it this afternoon. I'll have to take them with me. Well, then get on with it, man. Get on with it. There. Did you see that, Fraser? That's another American tailor that fears me. I could see that, sir. And that's what Canada needs. To be feared by tailors? Along with every other American. Do we have a plan to accomplish this, sir? Yes, but I'm not at liberty to reveal it at this moment. The important thing is that you not undermine our efforts with all this nice guy stuff. Yes, sir. As to my assignment? Assignment? Yes. I need you to hand deliver a very important document. Now, I don't want to say that the relationship between our two countries rests on its safe arrival. But if something were to go wrong, I can't speak as to the consequences. It looks like a party invitation, sir. Clever, no? Just make sure that someone gives you a, um... Get, get a... Signature. A signature, yes. And get the balloons on the way home. We're counting on you doing your part to make sure our reception is a success. You know your duties? Doorman, sir. Is that what you do? Yes, sir. Well, keep up the good work. Carry on. Oh, and Constable. Godspeed. Thank you, sir. Oh. I have to go out for a while, Deacon Baker, on a very important assignment, so what I would suggest is that you just... Deef and Baker. Oh, please, don't do this to me now. Deef. There is nothing more frustrating than playing hide-and-seek with a deaf wolf. Jasmine, have you seen Deef and Baker? No, Fraser, I haven't. Ah, well, if you do, could you tell him that I had to go out for a while? Sure thing. Can I give you a hand across the road, ma'am? Well, aren't you the kind young man? Where are you from? Well, ma'am, I'm from... I'd rather not say. Je m'appelle Catherine. Comment allez-vous? Could you tell me how to get to the nearest post office?